I mean, even when many years ago, one of the multilaterals said that uh, there's $29 billion that been, that has been spent by the poor for kerosene. So that's a big market for solar. That's a $29 billion market for solar. That's an unfortunate statement. The poor are poor because they are spending $29 billion. Our intervention should be in such a manner that it, that they would be just spending $15 billion overall, and the rest $14 billion goes towards asset creation for their livelihoods, for health, etc. That is what the statement should have come out. And how is that possible? To create appropriate interventions that are longer term. With small lights, the margin of error is extremely small. A small layer of dust on a small solar panel, which is less than one watt or two watt, the margin of error is so high that it stops working in six months, maximum one year. So what are we telling to the people? That, OK, I'm going to give you a small solar light, but hey, you're going to buy it every year. How many such systems that we, the middle class, and a more middle class, that buy every year, except because we are fascinated by iPhones that we have, have the luxury because it's an upgrade. But that's not the question in terms of the poor, where small light. We need to make sure that any intervention that we do for the poor has to be long term. So that is it financially viable on a long term perspective for the poor? Otherwise, their expenditures are going to remain the same and they're going to remain in that poverty sector. Uh, segment always. And that's why the small interventions like small solar lights, lanterns have been a disaster. As far as you go and ask how many people have actually got out of poverty. Oh, people are getting educated. I'm sorry, that's not true. It, the educated is a whole ecosystem. Are there good school teachers and the light together actually makes the education? And you need larger systems at the school level, better uh, digital education program. We're running on solar, larger lights at home which actually makes it and all can be financially viable. But we do is like because our transaction costs are high, the people who actually uh, deliver it, we go for the small quick wins. And that's dangerous in the game of poverty. <laughs>